morning, Parkside, Wednesday, May 13th. I'm recording on Monday, May 11th. I have uh, a bag here of donuts that I'd like to share with you. Uh, Aid and Sharon graciously brought some donuts in for me, and I think there's like six of them in here. If I eat all six of them, I'm going to be in trouble. So I'd like to share a donut with you. If you have a cup of coffee, grab your coffee and have a donut, and let's spend some time in 1 Timothy chapter 3, shall we? Just so appreciate as you're turning to 1 Timothy 3, uh, the congregation here at Parkside, just want to send my thanks to the support, the prayers, <laughs> the donuts, the cards, the gifts that uh, have been coming to us uh, as the staff uh, you've been very gracious, and this has been a very difficult time for uh, not only the world, uh, our community, but also our church. We have really missed being together. Uh, yesterday we did again a live stream, and we'll continually do that. In fact, the reason I wanted you to go to First Timothy 3 is I just I wanted to share with you uh, some thoughts about where we might be going here in the days to come. And our leadership here at Parkside, uh, I would like you to continue to pray for our leadership. John Took, who's our chairman, uh, has been doing a wonderful job maneuvering through this. The board, uh, the elder board, has been meeting on Saturdays, uh, every Saturday morning at 9 o'clock. We've been praying for the congregation. We've also been having some extra uh, board meetings, elder board meetings, to talk about some of the things that we're dealing with in preparation for reopening. But keep John Took in your prayers. Uh, Ryan Vanderhaar, uh, Kurt Postma, and Craig Apel are the four gentlemen that make up our elder board. And I would ask that you pray for these men. Uh, 1 Timothy 3 is the passage we're going to share here in just a minute. But these men uh, exemplify and also are good examples for us here at Parkside in their leadership. Also pray for the deacons. I uh, so appreciate what they're doing, uh, keeping us uh, on track by way of just the not only the finances, but uh, keeping the facility here uh, moving forward. Uh, Vince Bush, uh, Ben Van Inc., uh, Bob Bortman, and Dan Furbush are the deacons, the four deacons. And so pray for these uh, eight uh, men that are the leaders of our uh, church, spiritual leaders, and in 1 Timothy 3, uh, this is what the Bible says. Here is a trustworthy saying. Uh, Whoever aspires to be an overseer desires a noble task. Now the overseer is to be above reproach, faithful to his wife, temperate, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, and able to teach. Not given to drunkenness, not violent, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own family well and see that his children obey him, and he must do it in a manner worthy of full respect. Verse 5, if anyone does not know how to manage his own family, how can he take care of God's church? He must not be a recent convert, or he may become conceited and fall under the same judgment as the devil. He must also have a good reputation with outsiders so that he will not fall into disgrace and into the devil's trap. And so here in 1 Timothy 3, we have uh, some, well, we're not some, we have a great list of uh, qualities of a man, uh, a woman, somebody who desires to pursue Jesus Christ. And really all of these are qualifications that all of us in knowing Christ want to pursue. But these men that are listed here as overseers, called out to be those that um, have a desire to oversee the needs of the congregation <clears throat> are to be uh, held in respect, but also they are uh, asked by this list of some 20 qualifications, 18 of them have to do with a man's heart, not their giftedness, but man's heart. And so as we continue to serve together, keep these uh, eight men in your prayers, pray for the staff, uh, we're starting to see some of our staff starting to trickle in as we uh, consider opening uh, the doors. I also would just ask that you um, 
keep us in prayer. Uh, the elders are going to be meeting again today for lunch, and uh, we've been having some really good meetings, not only praying for the congregation, but uh, starting to talk and to think and to pray through how we can maneuver in a godly way, uh, reopening our congregation. And to do that in a way that honors and respects some of what uh, our governor has asked us to do. Uh, and at the same time, first and foremost, being obedient to the word of God. And we want to do that. And to try and balance all of that is not an easy task at all. Uh, I'm sure that we're going to make, um, not mistakes, but we're going to have some people that will, as we reopen, they're going to have uh, thoughts about what we maybe are not doing or doing. Uh, there's going to be a lot of different opinions. And what we want to try and do is we want to be good stewards of overseeing and shepherding the flock here at Parkside. And we want to be respectful of the needs that we have. And in view of that, we're going to do the best we can uh, to serve you and your family and also uh, serve the Lord Jesus ultimately, because that's what and who we ultimately serve. So I guess my, my encouragement to you today is to uh, pray for these uh, eight men, uh, continually pray for our church as we look forward to uh, opening the doors here soon and uh, seeing what God is going to do in the days to come. So I trust that you'll have a good day. Uh, the smell of donuts is right here on my desk. I wish that I could share. I've got six of them, so I was going to say come by the office and take one, but uh, we're still social distancing, so uh, we'll have to hold on for another day. Let me have a word of prayer uh, for you and with you, and uh, pray that today will be a good day as you continually seek the Lord. Know that... Uh, the Lord is sovereign. He's in control. Uh, the day's activities are in his hands. And trust him. Continue to live by Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. And lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. May that be uh, your experience today as you walk with him. And so, Father, as we uh, begin this day and as we walk through a new day, we pray that your grace would be sufficient for our needs and that your leading and your guiding would be felt and sensed as we who know Christ as our personal Savior have the indwelling of the Spirit that guides us and leads us and comforts us, gives us wisdom and direction, insight into life. We pray that he might have the freedom to work in our hearts and that we might keep in step with him and that today might be a day that we honor you. Thank you, Father, for your love and your grace, and pray that we might experience that today. So thank you for these moments to touch base with each other, and pray a blessing of grace upon each family that makes up Parkside, and that they might be um, deeply felt and loved by you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day. Blessings.